Okay, so let's get started. Well, the first thing that I'm changing is the style because I do not really like this style. I'm going over to the right side here to this panel and I'm using the shaded with texture style because it's very, very clean. It has only the white as the background. There's no horizon and we don't need it here, but um, I don't want to get too distracted. So I'm also always using this style for drawing. Okay, let's look at the first tool, which is this pencil here. At least it looks like a pencil. It's the line tool. Of course, you can do lines with this thing and you see SketchUp always orients itself parallel to the axis that you see here. So if it's if your line is green, then it means you're parallel to the green axis. If you're going up and it's blue, then you see it's parallel to the blue axis here and red is parallel to the red axis. Now you see that SketchUp always jumps to those reference points. You see that it says here on point or from point, which means that SketchUp automatically sees, aha, uh -huh, if we go exactly this distance on the green axis, then we can make a perfectly perpendicular rectangular shape. And if we click, we can apply this and we can close the rectangle and you see four lines in the same le on the four lines on the same level are always being closed by SketchUp so we have this face here in the middle the same goes with triangular shapes if they are in the same in the same level and you can of course use the same tool for building something with the right dimensions which is what we're going to do now so Let's go back to the start and you see that I'm navigating always with the mouse button. I, I have my index finger either on the left mouse button or on the wheel. So I click the wheel now and I see I can orbit around. And if I hold down this, the shift button, I can pan. So I'm moving exactly to where I want to be. So let's start here really on the bottom of this, this guy's feet. Let's draw a square meter. So what do we need for a square meter? We need basically four lines that are all 1000 millimeters long. Let's start by clicking. Never click and hold the button. Always click once and then click twice to end it. But before you click twice, make sure first that you are parallel to the axis, either parallel to the red axis or to the green axis. I'm going along the red axis now and I type in 1000 and I press enter. Now we have one line of 1000 millimeters and you see it in the right bottom. It says length 1000. And I'm going into the green direction now. Also 1000 enter. I'm going into the red direction once again. Now I could type in 1000 or I could rely on SketchUp intelligence and go from this endpoint to here and it says from point I can now click and you see also the length is displayed as 1000 so it's it's the right point that we're looking for and I close this thing and now we have a 1000 by 1000 millimeters a square meter okay so basically that's what this line tool can do and you see that the tools here on the left side there's sometimes an arrow which means if you click on this tool you will see another tool that's behind it. So if we have the line tool here, we also have the freehand tool, which lets you make very, very wild shapes. And well, basically you do not need this, need this very often. Unless you are some kind of artist, then you might need it. But let's delete this once again. And we can delete everything by using the eraser like this. So we get this eraser here and we click on the things that we do not want to see anymore. But sometimes you see this can be quite a lot of work. Uh, you can also hold the left mouse button. So you hold and you hover over everything that you want to delete and you release and then it's gone. But my preferred way of deleting things is that I go back with space to the mouse tool so to the select tool which lets me select everything that I want to delete if I select for example this big rectangle over here everything is selected I press delete and it's gone we delete or backspace it's it deletes the object 
But I'm going to show you one more little trick with this thing. It's the same in other CAD programs. It's a difference if you're going from the left top corner and create this frame or if you're going from the right bottom corner and create this frame. You see this one is dotted and the other one is closed. So where's the difference? The difference is that everything, if you want to delete this thing with the closed frame that goes from the top left to the bottom right, then everything has to be exactly in this frame. Okay, now everything is selected. And it wouldn't work if you had it like this, because now nothing is really fully in the frame. Every line that we have is only partially in the frame and nothing is selected here. This is a difference with the dotted line frame if I'm only if I'm only scratching the edges here like this of the of the rectangle that I want to select, I've se I'm selecting basically one, two lines and one face. So I release it and you see one, two lines selected and one face selected and they were only being scratched more or less. They were not fully in the frame. So now I want to delete this whole thing. I open up the frame. Everything is in the frame. I delete it with delete and everything's gone. Good. Now let's continue with the square meter. Let's go from one square meter to one cubic meter. How do we do this? We go upwards, of course. Let's select the line tool again. So now I'm going here to this wild crazy hand line, freehand, and then I'm going to the normal line tool. And now SketchUp can, of course, recognize those endpoints, which is where we want to start. Let's click on one endpoint and go upward. So it has to be blue because we want to be parallel to the blue line. It should be a perfect cubic meter, everything perpendicular. And now how far do we go? Of course, 1000 millimeters, 1000 enter. And there we are. Now we go to the left and you see I could use once again SketchUp's intelligence and it says from point. You can also type in 1000 if you like. And we can build this rectangle. Now, if I'm clicking here, this thing will be closed. And you see, we got a perfect cube. And this cube now is gray on the outside. This is only SketchUp's way of displaying where that something is inside or something is outside. Now, it's exactly the other way around as we would like to have it. So everything normally that's on the outside is white and not gray. So now it's reversed because of the way we started with the drawing. But that's not a, re that's not a problem. You can select everything and right click on your selection and then reverse faces. And you see now that everything inside is gray, everything outside is white. Let's close this thing once again. I'm selecting the line tool again and I'm going from endpoint to endpoint and now two faces are being closed by this one line. If I click and you see we've got this white cube of one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay, now let's modify this thing. 